Hey noble ones, greetings! Today we're going to learn how to pronounce in Italian properly um, all the different weapons used in, in the Middle Ages and maybe a little bit in ancient times as well. Um, the reason why I'm going to teach you this is because my Italian pronunciation is absolutely fantastic. Like honestly, it's so good, you wouldn't... On a serious note, this can be a useful video for both an Italian who wishes to learn wishes to learn English English weapons and an English an Englishman who wishes to learn uh, the name of weapons in Italian. It can be you know multifunctional video. That is lovely. Okay, let's get started. So I've got I've written down a list so I don't forget anything. So let's begin from the obvious ones. Um, let's begin from the word sword. Now sword in Italian is spada. 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 And of course there are many different kinds and I've written down a few. For example, a long sword, you say spada lunga. Spada lunga. Now I'm aware that those of you who practice Hema will be more familiar with the word spada longa with a O, but that's ancient Italian, medieval Italian really. Um, in modern Italian no one says longa anymore. It sounds very old, medieval of course. So in modern Italian you just say lunga for the adjective long. If the sword is short and you want to say short sword, then you say spada corta. Corta. Okay, continuing a um, great sword, then you say spadone. 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 All right, now um, let's get to something smaller but still bladed weapon. We're going to start learning the word knife. Knife in Italian is coltello. Col Coltello, coltello, and if you want to say uh, dagger, then you can say um, pugnale, 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 nya, 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 pugnale, or uh, it, there are a few actually. You can't if it's like a very very short. Uh, it's like yeah, it's it's a pugnale, but it's getting closer to a short sword. Then you can say dagger, uh, dagger. Uh, or we also have the word stiletto. Now I know that many English people uh, know this word because I think you have this word in English, although you, 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 butcher, <laughs> you butcher it when you pronounce it in Italian. It's like stiletto or something like that. But in Italian it's stiletto, stiletto, stiletto. All right, so um, continuing a uh, hatchet, you would say accetta. So it's quite similar, accetta. And if it's an axe, then you can say asha. If you want to specify asha, sh -sh -sh -sh, asha. If you want to specify a battle axe, then you can say asha da battaglia. Now the word battaglia means uh, battle, and please notice that the gl is pronounced ly ly battaglia. Um, it means battle, and da in this case, for those of you who know Italian, you know that normally da means from, but in this case it's a different da, pronunciation is the same, but da in this case means uh, used for, that, that's the translation, so it's like axe used for battle. Okay, now continuing, a, a similar situation we have with the word uh, hammer. A hammer in Italian is martello. But when you talk about uh, war, of course, in English you say war hammer, and in Italian that becomes martello, da guerra. Now we have already seen da, and we translated as uh, used for, so guerra means war, and martello da guerra, martello da guerra. Okay, now um, a mace, a mace is a mazza, mazza. Um, there are a few kinds. So, for example, if it's a, um, a spiked one, then you can call it, there are a few possibilities, either mazza chiodata, or even in English, I mean, you can call it morning star, and you can translate that literally into Italian, and it becomes stella del mattino, where stella means star, del means of, and mattino means morning. Beautiful name for a nasty weapon. Um, in Italian you also have mazza ferrata, ferrata which comes from the word ferro, which means iron, and it's this one here, and I'm not sure how to say this in English, I mean in English I would just call it a mace, but perhaps there is a technical term, if you know that please let me know in the comments below. Now continuing, we have, uh, moving on to um, uh, pole weapons, uh, then you can say for example a lance, in Italian is lancia, 
lancha. So it's, it's similar, lancha. Uh, but the word lancha in Italian also translates the English word spear. So while in English there, there might be, there is a differentiation, in Italian they're all lancia, all of them. Um, then if you, of course there are other kinds, it's a similar weapon and it's the pike, from which you have pikemen, and a pike in Italian becomes picca, picca. And if you want to say pikemen, it's picchieri, or well, for singular is picchiere, picchiere. Picchieri. But perhaps I will dedicate, I will make a dedicated video for all the different kinds of, of soldiers like knights and, and warriors and all these words in Italian, which are so fun to learn. Okay, um, what's a halberd? Very similar again. Alabarda. A la barda. Possibly trill your R if you can. If you don't, we will still understand. Italians will understand, but uh, you will have a foreign accent. Alabarda. Alabarda. Um, then we let's move a little bit on to ranged weapons. So the most basic and famous of all, the bow. A bow in Italian is arco. Now, if you are familiar, the word arco, arco in Italian is very interesting because it means the weapon, um, so the bow. But if you think about it in English, you, you can say, I think, the arch when you talk about structural and, and you know, um, buildings, etc. And in that in Italian is still arco, so, because at the end of the day, it's the same, it's the same uh, shape. And if you want to say longbow, then you can say arco lungo, arco lungo. Moving on to a, uh, for example, we have talked about the bow, let's talk about the um, crossbow. A crossbow in Italian um, is, is, it becomes a different word, which is balestra, balestra, balestra. And the arbalest becomes arbalestra. So you probably, you know, you have a closer word in English, but that's a different weapon, of course, a bit more complex. Then, still in the in the in the realm of uh, ranged weapons, the some of the components, of course, the actual uh, sort of munition that you can say uh, for for arrow in English, it becomes freccia, freccia, freccia in Italian, and a quiver, the container of of your arrows, becomes faretra, fa, re, tra. Faretra. It's only one R, so don't over-exaggerate it in pronunciation like guerra. Guerra is strong, like Ferrari. Double R, stronger, that's when you show off if you can roll your R. Um, but in, the case, in this case it's just one R, so it's faretra. Faretra, just one short trill. Then we have a glaive. A glaive in Italian becomes falcione. Falcione. Ne. But this is a word that, I mean, if you just say it to an Italian, he won't understand, unless they are into medieval history, etc. It's not like, a, like spada, arco, everyone understands, but falcione, it's a bit more specific. I think it happens also in English, or something like this, um, when you get very technical. And, uh, um, but it is similar to another Italian word, which is falce, and a falce is, in English, is scythe. Not really a weapon, of course, it's more of a tool for farming, but uh, yeah, that would be scythe. And if it's the small one, the sickle, it becomes falcetto. 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 Uh, this is a lot of fun, let's continue. A polax. A polax is a atza. So it's very similar to the word matza, mace. Just remove the M, atza, and you have said the polax. Um, then, the, here is when it becomes interesting, the flail. How do you say flail in Italian? And there are a few possibilities. I think the one you would find most of the times is mazza frusto. Mazza frusto. So you are adding to the word mazza, which is mace, you add frusto. Just, it becomes one word. And it's, it's interesting because, again, very technical word. Not many Italians will understand it, but all Italians understand mazza. And frusta, with a A at the end, is whip. So it's a whip, frusta. You know, that one there. Um, although actually the same word is also whisk, the one for cooking, uh, but yeah, you don't really need to know that, do you? Continuing, we have got the word um, scimitar, in Italian scimitarra, scimitarra, double R, scimitarra, which is your Italian passion, scimitarra. Um, then a, for example, a bastard sword would be spada bastarda, spada bastarda, spada Bastarda. It's very similar. 
Um, yes, here is another one that I, I'm not quite sure because in, in English, I think you use a French word and I'm not aware of an English way to say that, but the bec de Corbin, bec de Corbin in its French, um, that one in Italian, you say mazza picchio, mazza picchio. Again, very specific word. Please let me know if there is another word. Or maybe I should pronounce it the English way. I just don't know how to pronounce it. I just pronounce it in French because I only know the French pronunciation. Shield, I'll give you the general term. Then perhaps I'll make a dedicated video for like heater shield and kite shield and all the different kinds. But shield in general is scudo. 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 So scudo is a shield. And uh, uh, then you have, okay, moving a little bit into fencing, um, the foil is fioretto, 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 and a, a sabre would be translated into sciabola, sciabola, sciabola. Of course, sword is spada, we already know that. Similar to Spanish, if you think about it, but I think in Spanish they add the e, they, they say like espada or espada, something like that, but in Italian it's spada, no e at the beginning. Okay, well I've already um, taught you a lot of words, I think, and uh, I think this would be good for today's video. If you like this idea and you want me to teach you more about weapons and armor and, and all of that, like specific uh, names in Italian which have to do with Middle Ages and, and maybe even role-playing games and that sort of thing, please let me know because I, I, I thoroughly enjoy this as I am a language teacher after all with a huge passion for the medieval times, classical times and whatnot. So thank you very much for watching, I hope that this video and this tutorial, linguistic tutorial, was useful to you and please let me know what you think in the comments below and also let me know what is your favorite weapon of all the weapons that we have mentioned today. Qual è la vostra arma preferita? Thank you very much for your time and remember, the Metatron has spread his wings. Arrivederci! Basta!